Good morning, everyone. This is day 41 of our 100 days of prayer. Our topic for today is from the secret place. But before we start, we are going to ask Onai to pray for us. Onai, will you please pray? Yes. Thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you for Mama. Thank you for Lisa. Thank you for Didi. And thank you for everybody. Thank you for the nurses. Thank you for everybody that you gave us. And thank you for everybody. We love you. Amen. 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 Okay, thank you, Onai, for the prayer. As we said before, our topic for today is from the secret place. But before we continue, we are going to ask Lusanele to read today's verse for us. Today's focus verse comes from 2 Corinthians 4, verse 7 to 10. And it says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side and not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Jesus Lord, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Thank you so much, Lusanele. As we know that there's so many things that are happening around us, we are facing so many challenges especially at this time of the pandemic the covid uh, covid 19 has affected many of us in different ways we are all on lockdown now and things are not going well but we are being encouraged by this verse that lusanelli has just read for us that even though there's so many things happening there's painful things um, around us but we should not despair because God has already died for us. He had suffered for us. So through his death, we have conquered or we are conquering. Even if we, it might not seem so right now, but we, might, we must not lose hope. And we must always be encouraged by uh, verses like these ones. I'm going to read a quote that is found in, in the book, uh, The Great Controversy page 210 this quote says from the secret place of prayer came the power that shook the world in the great reformation there with holy calmness the servants of the lord set their feet upon the rock of his promises during the struggle at augsburg luther did not pass a day without devoting three hours at least to prayer and they were hours selected from those the most favorable to study. In the privacy of his chamber, he was heard to pour out his soul before God in words full of adoration, fear, and hope, as when one speaks to a friend. I know that thou art our Father and our God, he said, and that thou wilt scatter the persecutors of thy children, for thou art thyself endangered with us. All this matter is thine, and it is only by thy constraints that we have put our hands to it. Defend us then, O oh Father. There's nowhere else that we can turn to besides prayer. We have been given this secret place where when things are going rough, we can tend to it. Right now, uh, this made me think of all the frontline workers who are fighting this corona right now. All the nurses and doctors who are out there fighting for, for people's lives right now. And everyone else who is trying to help ease the situation right now. When things don't seem to be going well, we can all tend to our secret places and we can feel that God is with us. Our story that um, we were focusing on this week actually made me realize that really when we pray, we are not alone. God has promised us that even if you are alone, he is there with you when you pray. Um, we are now going to move on to the hard questions that we need to ponder upon. 
What do you long for most? What is your deepest heart cry? Perhaps you haven't thought about this recently. Perhaps you are just trying to survive. Or perhaps you think about it all the time. Take a few minutes today to think about where you find your greatest joy and your greatest fulfillment. As you do, reflect on Psalms 27 verse 4 and ask the Lord to give you a heart that truly hungers to be in his presence. At this time, we need to really uh, go back and focus more on reading God's word. That is the only place we are going to find comfort. We are going to find joy. We are going to find true love. We are going to find healing. So God is calling us to go back to him and ask for him to connect us back with him through prayer. Lusanele is going to talk about what we are praising God for today. Today, our praise is that we should praise God that Adventist members and churches have been asking God for creative ways to reach the communities around them and that God is answering these prayers with many creative approaches. Thank you, Lusanele. We are now going to our prayer requests. Onai, do you know our first prayer request? No. We are going to pray for all the elderly people and for the children who are most vulnerable among us at this time. We know that right now, um, the COVID-19 is affecting mostly our elderly people, but also um, just thinking about it, children at this time might not even understand. They might be so stressed being at home and not understanding why are things not as normal. So we need to pray and focus on our elderly and uh, on children. Dusanele, can you read the next? The next one says to pray for church members who are learning how to build friendships with Muslim refugees who have recently relocated to their neighborhoods. Pray for wisdom on how to lead them to the truth. Pray for churches worldwide to have faith to start urban centers of influence in cities near them. Pray for the latter rain outpouring of the church, on the church, that the work can be finished so that we can go home. Amen. Amen. May we all pray together. Let us close our eyes as we pray.